This episode is sponsored by Rapido Trains UK. Learn more about their upcoming Whizbeach and Upwell tram packs at the end of this video. Perhaps no branch line in the world is as both simultaneously famous and obscure as the Whizbeach and Upwell tramway. Known for its iconic steam trams, the little railway carried out a peaceful existence for many decades, and while its fame would come too late to save it, it retains a unique place in British railway history. What if we could revisit the railway as it was back in the day? Are there things we can learn from exploring the tramway in a simulator? We'll travel back in time at the rail yard. While England was still experiencing a railway boom in the 1870s, not every community was finding itself connected. To solve this, the British Parliament passed the Tramways Act to make it easier for lighter railways to be constructed and connect smaller villages. This enticed the Great Eastern Railway to build a connection between its pre-existing Bramley Line through Wisbeach in the eastern part of the country to the smaller villages just to the south. The tramway began operating in 1883, although the completion of the line to Upwell didn't occur until one year later. There, a large yard was built for farmers to transfer their fruits and vegetables onto covered vans for transport. These would then travel the nearly six miles to Wisbeach, where they were assembled into larger trains and taken to the big cities. Its close proximity to the road, with people and animals traveling along, necessitated that locomotives be equipped with cow catchers, side plates, and wooden coverings around their boilers. To prevent disturbing the neighbors, a bell was used in place of a conventional whistle, and other muffling devices were used to keep noise to a minimum. For nearly its entire run, the tramway paralleled the Wisbeach Canal, the previous source of transportation that it ultimately put out of business. The railway traversed the Fenlands, passing farms, windmills, and country estates at a leisurely 12 miles per hour, though there are accounts of some engine crews pushing this limit, shall we say, ever so slightly. The J-70 steam trams were put into service on the line in 1914. Their reliability enabled their survival into ownership of the London and Northeastern Railway in 1923, and even into British Railways in 1948. In 1953, the last steam tram was finally displaced by diesel locomotives, making this one of the first branch lines serviced without steam in the country. Diesels carried on with freight duties until lorries proved to be too much competition resulting in the closure and scrapping of the tramway in 1966. This is usually the part of the episode where I discuss the pros and cons of the simulated version of the route. What did the root author get right, and what could be improved on? I can't do that here though because, well, this is my creation.
It was probably inevitable that I would find a story that I wanted to bring to life in a simulator, given that I've been playing with these programs for over 20 years. The creations of others have led me on several real-life adventures to discover so much about our world, past and present. In 2019, I embarked on replicating this history in Trains Railroad Simulator 19. But why did I decide to take this on as a project? When I look at books about the tramway, I don't just see old pictures, historical records, or generic anecdotes. I feel a sense of longing for a place that is both quite foreign and yet remarkably familiar. I may not know what life was like in East Anglia at the turn of the 20th century, but its abundance of agriculture and tranquil beauty are qualities shared by where I grew up in northwestern Pennsylvania. This region's history was not particularly dramatic, its scenery pleasant though not breathtaking, but these were also qualities of my own home. Those pictures, records, and anecdotes that I read about reminded me of what I know and love, and they led me into a world that I wanted to learn more about and explore. As an artist, if I can learn from both history and experience, and use those lessons to create works that inject a new perspective into that narrative, I'd like to think that it's a worthwhile endeavor. I want to contribute to our collective understanding of rail history in ways that inspire others, just as I've been moved by the countless books, model railways, photographs, films, and simulators that have shaped my interests. I can't say for sure that I've created a fully accurate rendition of this railway line. I used three tremendously helpful books as research, but I'm sure I've taken creative liberties along the way. My hope is that this is something that properly evokes a slice of England as it was over a hundred years ago, and inspires others to learn more about a really unique piece of railway history. Now, the time has come for you to see this world for yourself. The Finished Route makes its debut on February 2nd of 2023 during a special video live stream. We'll take an end-to-end -end run along the tramway together, explore how you could model this in your own home, and release this route for you to enjoy. I've completed the Whiz Beach and Upwell tramway for trains with a Z. But does it earn your seal of approval? Thank you guys for watching this episode of At The Rail Yard, and thank you to today's sponsor, Rapido Trains UK. I've been a fan of Rapido's North American products for several years, and in 2019 I purchased this J70 tram engine. For a locomotive with such a small wheelbase, it's quite comfortable rolling over switches, it has excellent slow speed control, and of course, the detail is exquisite. I love it so much that I even had it pull a train at my wedding. Rapido is now creating a set that includes the locomotive with the railway's two bogey coaches. The sets are available in two liveries with either DC or DCC sound variants available. Because the pre-order window is closing soon, make sure you order yours at rapidotrains.co.uk by using the link in the description. Be sure to tune in to the live stream on February 2nd at 7pm 
Eastern Time, U.S., and we'll be using TrainZ to design a train layout that would be perfect for this set. This enticed the Great Eastern Railway to build a connection between its pre-existing Bramley line through Wisbeach in the eastern part of the country to the smaller vidges... to the smaller vidges... vidges...